He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee Wee. Slack, Skyrim, Legendary, Pure Breton. <laughs> Damn, Gamer Slack is not giving me enough time to do the intro. Okay, yeah, uh, Gamer Slack down in the trenches behind the gun, and MC, MC Dub Slack up here in the rear with the gear on the microphone, and we are just short of leveling up Alteration and just short of leveling up to the next character level. Let's fast travel to Iverstead, and we're going to have to deal with the pesky courier as soon as we arrive. I've been looking for you. Always the new business. Always the business about the new museum in Donstar. There we go. Okay, so we are here in Iverstead for a very specific reason. That is to harvest some bees at the Honey Strand Cave. There's a little matter of a bear, which we'll have to take care of. Our Jamora Lord is going to take care of that quite nicely. And uh, we can level up Conjuration more by casting um, the Balanced Sword. And I was just looking up this, at the sun to indicate that... Um, it needs to be a sunny day to harvest bees. That could pretty much goes for any insect. So if it's not sunny, wait 24 hours until it is sunny and then do this. Okay, so in goes Dremora Lord. And the first thing I did was I cast Stone Flesh to level up Alteration. And now I'm repeatedly casting um, the Bound Sword to level up Conjuration. The ultimate target for Conjuration is level 90. At level 90, we can go on a skill book run and get it up to 100 after we do the run through the Raven Rock Mine. I believe that's coming up in episode 8 or 9? Probably 8. Okay, so here we are. In this area, there's uh, a ton of bees. See, just right there. Why are we collecting bees? Like we are collecting bees because this is an alternative to the Dragon's Tongue Fly Amanita Mora Tapanella recipe, Power of Potion recipe, of which Mora Tapanella is always the bottleneck because they're they're spread they're always spread out so far, so collecting a whole bunch is a pain in the arse. One good substitute for Mora Tapanella, it doesn't make quite as valuable uh, a potion as the more tap and potion, but it's pretty close. And one good substitute for that is bees. So the recipe then would be dragon's tongue, fly amanita, and bees. That's why we're here. Basically a time saver. You should be able to collect 25. I think I actually managed to get 28, and I think a frostbite spider wandered in, so... Spanky. What did I call him? Another? I think I called him Spanky. And we leveled up. I know I have a perk point. We're going to spend that on Magic Resistance 2, if I recall correctly. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to put that into Magic Resistance 2 because coming up next video, we are going to start fighting dragons. Dragons by Episode 7. That's right, dragons by Episode 7. And I'm not sure how to get this uh, honeycomb that's like hanging over the cave without actually going into the cave. I didn't have the patience to fiddle around to figure it out. I don't even know if it's possible. Beehive is the word I'm looking for. That beehive hanging over the cave. There's two others. Strike that. Three others. Two here and there's one over on the other side. Make sure you loot those two. Okay, so just collect all the bees. Pretty sure I missed that canis right there. I know it's like, so I've got 25 so far, but I, I think I managed to get three more. I know, it's sticking out there saying, pick me, pick me, you didn't pick me, Slack, I know, whatever. We'll go on a Canis route run later. Yeah, 
He done slack. 28's good. That's good. Okay. Next, back to Iverstead to reacquire our horse. And I, in a practice run, I noticed that I lost all my ruined books. Either I forgot to get them in the in White River Watch, or I s somehow lost them or misplaced them. I was supposed to collect ruined books in White River Watch. I don't remember if I actually did that or if I just like did it in a practice run and then thought I did it. But um, we need some. So if that's where we're coming here to Shroud Hearth Barrel. There's a ton of ruined books here. What do we need ruined books for? It's like you'll find out before the end of the video. You need, need at least two. Three would be nice. Okay, having done that. Let's go to Kynes Grove and re-up our supply of Dragon's Tongue and Fly Amanita. Now, you know the routine here. There's a ton of Dragon's Tongue around the inn. Should have respawned by now. We're looking to come close to or matching our supply of bees. We probably won't match it, but uh, we'll come close with what we had left over from the previous run and... Okay, so all the drag is tongue there. Let's grab some of these leeks to make some vegetable soup for later on. Yank out a few potatoes and we're good. Now, up the hill into Steam Scorch Mine. In here we're going to collect, once again, 21 Fly Amanita. Now, we've done this before, I showed you how to do this. So this is pretty routine, so I'm just going to cast a spell of Fast Fly Amanita. There we go, 21 Fly Amanita. Now, we're going to fast travel to Mark Karth. Primarily to get some juniper berries, but we're also going to be getting some hanging moss. Juniper, juniper berries for some fortified marksman potions, which I've since decided is pretty much a waste of time. Ever been to Mark Karth? Not until we can get our alchemy up, because, you know, make a fortified marksman potion, let's say, like, does, like, 30% better damage. 30% of crappy damage is just a crappy bonus, so, you know, and our, our bow damage is never going to get any better. So I think uh, maybe later on I'll probably start using juniper berries for a power potion instead of fortify marksman potions and just rely on uh, poisons if I want some extra you know want some extra sauce okay so all the juniper berries in this area and this rock warbler egg here we can go on a little hanging moss run around the Markar stables as well so up the stairs here hanging moss go up the stairs there's another one up there jump for it over here, same hey, dealio. Jump for it. Couple hanging over the edge here. One, two. And some more juniper berries here. And up the guard tower for some more hanging moss. Right? Yoink, there. Okay, that's all the hangy moss. Now it's uh, basically juniper berries and blue mountain flower. Robin. So now I've gone into running loot mode. That's where I just grab everything on the fly without even stopping.
later on, um, Gamer Slack actually missed a few juniper berries. Like, he went right up to the tree, thought he picked one, and he didn't. He just kept going because he was like, you know, I'm going really fast. Haha, -ha, pretty cool, eh? <laughs> and yes, I know this is Nern right under the bridge. See, you missed one. See. I think you still missed it. Missed that one, too. You know, and I was looking at my supply of juniper berries going, how come I'm not getting as as many as I normally get? <laughs> see, I missed that one too, I think. Even I think I heard the sound, heard the sound effect, but I didn't see the the notification that uh Unless Skyrim glitched out on the notification. Anyways, we're looking for about twenty. And I think I got it here. After these two. Check the supply slack. 20. We're good. Next, it's over to the white file, Windhelm, and the rest of bonus. Going to Windhelm because in the white file there is Wallandria's soul gem in the satchel. So we're gonna get that. I'm the cook up at Candle. Got some fresh baked bread. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Night, Enjoy your stay. And don't break gray skins, no. But I think of them. Alright, so this is good. Well we're the bonus. And let's jam on over to the white file. First of all, the satchel underneath the stairs, grab Wallendria's soul gem there. I'll explain about that later. Hold up, Slack. Hold up, hold up. Put a point to alchemy. I don't appreciate loiterers. Slack. You gonna remember? Quintus, could you fetch me a copy of the firmament? I need to compare the old star charts to today's. Maybe it's not at this point. Did they really no, it's not. That's right, I already used up my current points. Okay, so sorry. Sorry, gamer slack. Sorry, I know, you know what you're doing. He's sitting there, shut up, I know what I'm doing. Which I can cross reference. I I apologize, Master. Okay, so like I said, the recipe is B, drag his tongue, and fly Manita. And make an invisibility potion as well. That's gonna be uh we're gonna need that. And I think I made some here we go, some fortified marksman potions. Like I said, I don't think he's really going to be that useful. You don't really get that much of a boost because we have crappy bow damage. So let's make some health potions. You may be thinking, why make health potions? We could just use um, the healing spell. The reason why is when you're fighting dragons with the bound bow, um, if you have to heal, you have to put away your bound bow to heal which can be really awkward if you have a poison loaded on your bow that means you lose the poison that's what I was talking about earlier it's just it just gets really awkward trying to like juggle your poison so I found it best to have like a stack of emergency health potions okay so we came to um, white run and we're going to steal the mammoth tusk behind the counter here, the mammoth, at the bannered mare, rather. We're not friends with the bannered mare. It's right there. So, just take an invisibility potion. And... Yoink. There we go. What's the mammoth tusk for, Slack? I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we got all that. Got a big batch of power potions. It's off to the College of Winterhold.
Of course, first we get the well rested bonus in winter hold. to the college. This time we're going to power level illusion. You know, they say knowledge. It, I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer world. Five times. And then we'll finance that with some chump loot and the power potions that we just made. Make sure you keep at least one bear pelt. I've got two. And if you want to make a spell tome of frost astronaut, keep the ice wolf pelt. I decided not to make it. And I'll explain why. Keep at least two, if not three, ruined books. There you go. Okay, so we're just short of the next level in Illusion. And let's throw this point, the prick point, into Elemental Potency. So our Atronachs are 50% stronger. This is important for our Storm Atronachs, although it has no effect on the Dramor Lords. And I just cast Muffle to level up because we're very just short of leveling up Illusion and conveniently enough just short of leveling up our character. So level up our character, points into Magicka. And this time, we're going to throw the point into Magic Resistance too. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Absolutely. Okay, another round of skill training. Use the potions to pay it off. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? That's all she wrote. Cast Muffle to level up Illusion again because we're just short of the next level. And let's go to the Midden. This time we're going right in. And we're going to go to the Atronach Forge. The who, the what now? The Atronach Forge. I'll explain in a minute. First of all, we have to get past an extremely dangerous Ice Wraith. So this is a job for the Dramora Lord. This skeleton always has a random enchanted dagger. There he goes, I got that. Okay, it's so looking for the Ice Wraith. We're gonna cast the Dramora Lord and just back off. There we go. Okay, so you know the routine. Cast Bound Sword while, uh, while Spanky is busy. Concentration up to 82. You done? Good job, good job. Get your case of beer for that one. Alright, so let's put a little light on the subject. Grab some salt pile here, and this is the more salt pile need these barrels here. This barrel rather. Check that aside. <laughs> And some torch bug thorax, which we could use to make some stamina potions. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. 
I'm just grabbing them for posterity. Fire salts on the table, and there should be an aurichalcum ingot, aurichalcum ingot up here. And here is the Atrodog Forge. You can make all kinds of conservation spells or um, staffs. So, the recipe for what I'm about to make is Dragon's Tongue, Fire Salt, Bear Pelt, and a Ruined Book. That's Dragon's Tongue, Fire Salt, Bear Pelt, and a Ruined Book. That makes a spell tome of Conjure Flame Atronach. There we go. For free. All you have to do is put all the ingredients in the offering box and then pull the magic pull chain that's below it. So now it's Death Bell, the, the recipe for a Storm Atronach is Death Bell, Void Salts, which we got earlier from the Hall of Attainment, Mammoth Tusk. Ah, that's, yeah, that's right. Ah, that's why we got the Mammoth Tusk. And once again, a Ruined Book. Okay, so now we have the Spell Tome of Conjure Storm Atronachs. So we got some Atronachs now. We got a nice variety of Atronachs. I think the Frost Atronach is completely redundant because basically the Frost Atronach is um, a melee fighter. And we already have a kick-ass melee fighter, the Jermore Lord. He's way better than the Frost Atronach. He's more compact and he does more damage and he's just way better. So the Frost Atronach is... You know, he doesn't have a ranged attack, so it's pretty redundant. But if you want him, um, I'll try to, to remember to post the recipe. I know it's Ice Wolf Pelt, uh, Frost Salts, which are not that easy to come by. Anyways, I'll try to remember to post the recipe for that. But believe me, you know what? You won't really need it. Okay, so at Winter Hold, just did this to acquire my horse and we did not come to Sarthal for what you may think we came to Sarthal for. We didn't come here for alteration skill training. We're going to Isgamor's tomb which is on the north shore at that custom marker point that I just showed you. So go towards that. Some of you might be thinking what the fuck are you doing Slack? Yeah, <laughs> yeah something completely new. Um, we're going to a word wall that gives the animal allegiance shout. Because we're coming up to the point, you know, like I said, we're going, we're going to be fighting dragons before the end of the next video, which means that we will now have shouts at our disposal. So we might as well start working on, you know, collecting some of these shouts. Here we go. Ismer's tomb. Look for this kind of square rock here. Then hook around. Now you're looking for this kind of sloping ledge. See the sloping ledge that goes up here? Take your horse gallop up here. Turn to the left at the top. You see another kind of slope here. You can get on this slope. And this will easily get you up to the steps here. Once you find the steps, follow the steps circling around up to the top. And you'll find the word wall for the animal allegiance, allegiance shout. We're going to be using this to make some big money in episode 8. This is all part of an int intricate plan, so make sure you do this. Okay, so everybody's got the first word of power for the animal allegiance shout. Done and done. Next. We're going to start preparing for a run through Bleak Falls Barrel. This is it. We're, we're going for dragons, people. I want to make sure they have the mage stone hooked up. I thought I didn't. That's why I came to the guardian stones. But it is, so that's good. And it'd be nice to have the well rested bonus. It's not going to last long, but it will last maybe like halfway through Bleak Falls Barrel. So might as well. Orgnar, you're that visitor. Ask Delphine, rent a room. Yours for a day. Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new. That's it. Mage stone well rested. We have everything we need. Yep. 
We might as well ride up from here. I just want to make a quick pit stop to grab some more Tabanella. Henceforth we'll be saving all our more Tabanella for poisons instead of power potions. Alright, up the stairs, past the unmarked bandit tower. You could stop and make a, pick a fight with these guys, but I'm not going to bother. Around the corner here, and here we are at Bleak Falls Barrow. Now we're going to sneak around the back, get the drop on these boys. So I want to ride right up here, right around the back door, get our Jermore Lord Beardy, and cast... Um, Stone flesh on the off chance we might you know, level up alteration. Out goes Spanky, and while he's taking care of business, cast the bound sword to level up conjuration. There you go, Spanky. Don't say I never do nothing for you. Fall. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think that's it. Good job, Spanky. Good job. I get you a case of beer for that one. Alright, we're going in. And coming up next video is Bleak Falls Barrow. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you found this video remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, post a comment. I'd love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to leave me a thumbs up. All right, see you next time for some more Pure Breton. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.